Guys, I moved all my paint to my new studio and I found paint that I forgot I had. So we're gonna do a lightning pour with some Lucas Curl paints today and I'm so excited. So I'm gonna get you down and we'll get started. Thanks for being here. Let's get busy. Hi everyone, it's Angela Bliss with Angie's Art Asylum. I hope you guys are well today. I am working on a 16 by 20 canvas. I have the bottom of a bottle cut out and we're gonna do a lightning pour. I found some Lucas Krill Studio paints. Uh, I've moved all of my paints into my studio and we are going to get started. First color I'm putting down is Titanium White by Amsterdam. I'm just going to cover that up. And which way do I want to go? I want things to go that way, so. So basically what I'm saying is when I pour the paint down through this little crevice here, it's gonna wrap around this way. And then I'll turn the crevice so that I can pour on the same side on this side. It's gonna wrap around this way. When it does, when those paints meet, it's gonna create a line that goes across. I want it to go across lengthwise instead of widthwise. So we're going to make two cups. I've got Lucas Krill Indigo. Brilliant Blue by Liquitex Basics, Violet by Artist Loft, got a Lucas Krill Studio by, uh, it's a mauve, got Lucas Krill Studio in Elysir and Crimson, I've got Lucas Krill Studio Cadmium Red Deep Hue, and I've got Lucas Krill Studio in Indian Yellow, and I'm just going to layer these paints. So mix these paints about one part paint to two and a half parts Floetrol, nothing else added. I know these paints work really well, well this painting, this type of painting technique works really good with Amsterdam paints. And I have never used like almost all Lucas Krill paints. So when I saw the colors, I was like, let me try that and see if that's gonna work. Because their paints are wonderful. And if you're just starting out, it's a really good product to purchase and you know start experimenting with. I might have too much paint, but this Indian yellow is um, transparent, so it should blend really well with the reds to make like an orangey color. I got a lot of blue in the bottom of that, in the bottom of that cup. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one aside. We're going to pour from the yellow. And um, of all the times that I've done this, I know that this cup's gonna move, so I'm gonna hold on to it right here to make sure it doesn't. Here we go. And remember to breathe. I think I could have went with half the paint. We'll see. Look at that cup. Pretty. Okay. Now we're gonna turn this. Let's do the other one. always gets me. I always forget to breathe, but anyway. Um, so let's take this little out here. It always looks ugly. promise you. Um, it gets better. <laughs> I'm going to torch it. Now I'm going to take my dowel and I'm going to run this white through it. This side looks brighter than this side. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's lots of paint in there. Okay, that looks 
good. And now we're gonna tilt it. Yeah, it's um, cool to see different paint brands, the way they, uh, they work. So I'm excited to see how this plays out and see if it doesn't muddy. This is gonna be super bright through here, which is what you want. Let me move these sticks out of the way. So we're just gonna put this extender around the edges so this composition doesn't roll over on itself. I know you guys have been watching my channel for a while and I'm sure you've seen me move from my kitchen down to a bigger room in my home. Now I am next door in a house that me and my husband own and it was empty. So he came in and just kind of put my stuff in and now I'm painting here. So pretty amazing. All right, so that should work. Here we go. That's pretty. I love those violets and the crimson and the red inside the middle. And they, that yellow and red made a beautiful orange. Uh, let's go ahead and get the short end out of the wet note. Where's my paint? I always say where's my paint because I want my paint to be in the middle when I start. enough lines. Let's try that. Sorry. I'm tilting kind of slow because I want to make sure that I don't mess up the actual composition of the pour.
go pretty fast once I get to the edge. Make sure I have enough paint off. All right. Now to watch it dry. I'm gonna bring you guys down for a wet close-up here in just a minute. Let me get cleaned up, and uh, we'll look at it wet. Okay guys, wet result time. Looks really cool, really pretty. Um, digging the purple vibe in this one. Colors are gonna dry a little darker, so it will really just pop off the canvas. Can't wait to see the middle dry. Look at that, that's pretty. So yeah, that's pretty. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and stay tuned for the dried result.